My name is Sabi, but you can call me Mr. Digitech, and today we are learning how to get creative with shapes using Break Apart in the iWork apps like Keynote, Pages and Numbers. So here we are looking at a hamburger. Now in Keynote or Pages or Numbers, if you would like to insert an image of some sort or a um, diagram or a cartoon of some sort, it's very simple. All you have to do is go up to the plus icon across all three of the iWork apps and um, under shapes across the top, you can actually see a whole range. Now this is the default window that opens up. It's, um, under basic, you'll see some shapes in the text boxes, but across the top, you'll see geometry, objects, animals, nature, and all sorts. Now, once you've chosen one, and I've chosen my hamburger here, um, if you'd like to change colors, you select it, and you go up to um, the paintbrush, and here you've got your fill options. You've got um, color, gradient, or image. Now, often I see um, students and teachers just choosing, trying to choose a different color, and um, I've been asked a few times, oh, it's so annoying how you can't change um, the different colors because a hamburger obviously isn't all brown. Um, but there's actually a hidden feature that a lot of people don't know about. So when you're under the edit option, um, you can actually tap across to arrange and you have here right under lock you've got break apart now what break apart does is it actually splits that one image into all these different pieces and after that what you can do is you can actually go ahead and completely customize every single separate piece so i'm going to go into here and um, you know make that red we'll make this yellow and this can be a darker um, brown for the beef and um, there's my burger so when I'm done editing it, I can actually go through and just use multi-tap, so that two fingers, tap one and then select the others, go ahead and then regroup them, and there you have it. You can cu totally customize all of your um, images and shapes. Now if we have a look here with the ice cream, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to go to rearrange and go to break apart. And then now I actually went to my favorite website, um, Pixabay, and I saved this um, texture here because I want to use that for the, um, the cone. And I found this on Pixabay as well because um, uh, I want to use it for the ice cream part. So what I can do is now that I've broken it apart, I can tap into here, go up to edit, which I'm already in, and go to style, go to fill options, choose the image. I'm going to change the image, select my photo, and there it is there. Um, I'm going to tap out of that and give it a border. I think um, I like giving it a border, it kind of frames it. And here I'm going to change the cone, go to image, change image, and I'm going to insert that texture there. Um, give it a border as well, and when I'm done with it, Oh, I think I just, you've got to make sure that you don't do what I just did, is move it around. So just when you're multi-selecting um, them, just be careful not to move your fingers and do exactly what I just did. Um, and I'm going to group them together, and there you have it. You can cu completely customize um, most of the shapes. I do want to point out something though, so when you go into inserting images, you can't do this to all of them. So for example, if we have a look at the banana, that's just one piece. You can, there's nothing to break apart. But if I click on the um, watermelon, you can see that I can actually um, uh, split apart the individual pieces. So I can do that here. If I go into paintbrush um, and go to arrange and go to break apart, you can see how it's broken it down into all those little pieces. So I can completely customize those. But so just keep an eye on that. And remember that not all shapes um, in the inbuilt iWork app, so that's across keynote numbers, numbers and um, pages, aren't able to be broken apart, but most of them can. So here is um, just another example of another wallpaper that I made um, with my students. This we did all together um, to put interests, our interests on there so we can share and um, talk about this with our class. So you can see that I've actually used that here for my burger and for my pizza and for my ice cream. And I've given um, gradient options for the um, fruits and things. So you can totally customize these shapes, give it a go and have some fun with it. I hope you have learned something today. For more tutorials like this, hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.